Today is October the 4th, 2011, and I'm going to be comparing a couple of um, LC meters. This is an old Tektronics Type 130. Uh, the manual I have, uh, I believe they started making these in 1959. What I have is from 1962, so I know they made them in that era. Still work beautiful. It's all vacuum tube. It's just absolutely gorgeous inside. Uh, I have the calibrator that goes with it, so I can check it. And it uh, does work properly. And here's one I just bought off the internet. Made in China. Uh, the connection's a little flaky there, but the darn thing does seem to work pretty good. And I'm going to compare them and, and show you that I'm, uh, I'm actually quite impressed with this one. I compare it to this one, and I get the same answers. Well, first thing you do on, <clears throat> on any uh, LC meter, if you're going to measure L, the way this works is zero. You hold it, and it says calculating. And it uh, nulled out the capacitance here. Like if we twist these things together, so you can see that just that much twist in the wires gives us 1.16 picofarads. And we can null it out. We press and hold zero, and it says cal calculating OK. See, and then it went to zero. Of course, we wouldn't zero it twisted. We'd zero it untwisted. That's the. Um, where you calculate, I mean, uh, excuse me, the calibrated for capacitance is open circuit. Same thing happens over here. You do it open circuit. Now, if you want to calibrate it for inductance, you have to short them. And uh, that's easier said than done with one hand. Okay, so now I have the meter lead shorted. You press this little button in, you get inductance. And then you hold calculating okay so now we've set it to zero we'll do this we'll do the same thing over here the tectronics when we get there well, let's open this up and let's measure an inductor we'll measure this guy and this one there and we get 114.5 I'm going to write that down here. I'm going to call this as the LC200A. We're at 114.5. And we'll just do it for a couple. Uh, let's do it for this big one. As an amateur radio operator, I, uh, I need to measure inductors sometimes. I like to build RF amplifiers. And this one measures 2.5. 937 so we're at it in 2.937 and uh, yeah we won't get into the big guys going to uh, show this one but this one just kind of becomes laborious but this is a, a, a large inductor anyway they do compare so let's just uh, for the sake of keeping this really short let's go over here to our inductor and we'll put it on three. You can see it in there. Three micro Henry's. It measures from three to three hundred. This is just for some really small stuff, obviously. And then we're gonna use these probes. We'll use the same ones here. I'll unplug these and move them over here. And plug them in. Of course, first thing we gotta do is uh, same thing, is short it out. And then we turn these controls right here. This is actually a tuned circuit. And then we'll see as we move this thing up and down, we're looking for a null of turning this very carefully until I get a null. See, it's oscillating really slow. That's a beat frequency. And then we use the fine zero right here to tune it out to where there. Pulse okay, there we go. Now we got it set to zero. Almost, almost. I'll tune it a little bit more down here. Whoops. That's close enough. Okay, then we do the same thing. Remember, we, we, we um, zero it with the lead shorted for inductance, and we um, zero it for capacitance. With the leads open. 
I can get a good connection. On the other one we measured uh, 2.937. Here we measure 2. Point, uh, a little over 2.8. So it's the same thing. 2.8 micro Henry's. These are all in the micro Henry's. And last but not least, we'll do uh, one a little bit larger. We're just going to peg the scale. We'll have to put this thing up on uh, 142. We'll have to put it up on 300. And we get a hundred because we're measuring it on the uh, 300 scale so it'd be right up here the top one that would be just a little over a hundred and ten because there's a hundred ten twenty thirty four fifty a hundred and ten we'll call it 112 so we're right down 112 micro henry's and the other one measured 114 and a half it's got a digital readout, analog readout. Which one do I trust the most? Hmm, I don't know, probably this one, but this thing's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually quite impressed with it. I needed to measure some uh, very small inductances. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing here soon is I'm going to be doing a video on non-inductive resistors. And I've been doing some preliminary work on them, and they're not as non-inductive as you think. One of the non, I'll, I'll give you a preview here. One of the non-inductive set of resistors I'm going to use is this. Uh, the other set of non-inductive resistors are going to be these commercial ones right here. You can't really see them too good. Yeah, you can probably see the back of them. <clears throat> and then I also have a precision one that's wire wound. It's actually quite surprising which uh, ones has the least amount of inductance. Now down at a kilohertz or so. A few micro henry's doesn't matter but up at uh, 20 kilohertz it does but anyway that's enough for now just to basically the comparison of this old uh, 50 plus year old tektronix type 130 lc meter and a brand new little digital one like i said it's a little flaky here you, you move this thing around it'll power on and off but actually the darn thing seems to work pretty good and it does just as well on the capacitors so for what it's worth